It's time for Proving It, presented by Titleist. All right, it's happened to all of us. You get that pressure shot, and the next thing you know, you're swinging, and your club is turned into a shovel, and your divots all over your beautiful pants. We got to stop this madness. I want to teach you how to get out of coming over the top. So many times it's happening to you, and it's a simple thing. The reason why you you come over the top of the shot is because the ball's sitting on the ground and you want so desperately to make solid contact that what you do is you start driving the club down into the ground. I'm going to videotape this for you and show you what this looks like, okay? So let me hit that, let me hit that, and let me give you the, the over-the-top pressure, 18th hole. I got a chance to shoot my lowest score ever and take all my money from my brother. All right, here we go. So this goes like this and you drive it down into the ground like that. This thing has an apex of 28 feet. If you're lucky, watch what happens to this, this swing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a thing called shaft plane. That's our shaft plane line. And this is a really good guide to give you an idea of what's happening with your, your golf club as you're coming down into it. Now, what we wanna do is we want the golf club, as it's coming down into the strike, to get under the shaft plane. This is under the top. And over here, let's make this red. This is over the top right here. I don't want over the top. I want under the top. That's what I want. The top meaning the shaft plane line here. So as this starts to come down into it and you start driving down into this ground, watch how the head's going to dip down and the club shaft and, and club head are gonna just start turning into an anvil and they just start driving down. Look at this, this is just, see how the club head of the, is now on top of this shaft plane line? Same thing, same thing, same thing, same thing. Now out here like this, now it's way over there and you're just, you're basically just stuffing the club into the ground right there. There's no way that, the, in fact, look at what happens to the shaft of the golf club. This is pretty wild. Watch this shaft bend. Look at that right there. That's what you're doing. And all that stress is going up into your elbow. By the way, those of you that have this over the top, you, there's many of you that are wearing the bubble. And, and that's, by the way, that's just a bad look. You got to get rid of the bubble, okay? Don't, you don't need it anymore. You can swim without it, I promise you. And here's how you're going to do this. We're going to erase this right here. I'm going to turn this over here like this. I'm going to set this up to where it's going to get ready to start, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give you a drill that's going to help you understand how to get this club to come from the inside under the top, not over the top. And it's really simple. What you do is you take your golf club, preferably a driver, and you hold your lead arm out like this. And all I want you to do is when you come through, I want you to feel your trail arm getting underneath the lead arm. Now I'm focusing on the forearms right here. So from elbow to wrist, I wanna feel my right forearm to wrist underneath my left forearm to wrist. And as I start to do that, when I come through here, that club is gonna get laid down underneath nicely and come from the inside. And I'm gonna get this ball to get up into the air. And there's a better than average chance that I could hit a draw from here which I'm telling you, you probably haven't hit that one ever. And if you have, it's just been by accident. It's actually probably a pull. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to record this. We're going to do a little under the top right here by getting my right forearm underneath my left forearm as I come down into this strike. Here we go. So there's the swing. Apex of about 92 feet. That ball goes about 195 well, maybe 192 in the air with a ball speed of about 123. Now, let me just put this right to where we're about to, to launch. So there you go. Now, watch what happens with this golf club as it goes back. First of all, it goes maybe a little bit to the inside. But now watch how when I'm starting to bring this club down, this forearm, my right forearm underneath my left. Look at the golf club now. It's underneath the shaft plane line. That's under the top. That's what we're talking about, under the top. I have now got it coming from the inside. Right there, I know I'm from the inside. When the club shaft is parallel to the ground, you can see now it's pointing out to the right-hand side. That means that this club is coming into the ball along the ground. Look at how inside that club head is coming into the ball. And now it goes down the line. That ball starts out to the right. In fact, it starts about two degrees out to the right. That's also going to give me a little bit of a draw because the hands are going to have a little bit more activity. And all of a sudden, I've got that ball zooming up into the air with a nice draw. Now, let me compare these two for you so you understand what these look like. So let me go back to here. 
Let me bring this one. To address, draw a shaft plane line. Now what we're going to do is take this thing into this. And you can see the dive down right there. Now I'm going to just point out a couple of different things to you as we start to get this club. And as it's coming down into the ground, I'm going to stop this club hopefully about parallel to the ground here. And the idea is, is that when this club is parallel to the ground, which is right about there, and then I'm going to bring this one parallel to the ground, which is right about eh, it's right about there. Look at the difference between where the golf club, I'm going to draw some, I'm going to draw some stuff here. Here's where this club head is, and here's where this club head is. You see the difference under the top, over the top. It's, it's, it's such a simple thing to understand, but you have to understand how to teach yourself how to do it. So back in the hitting area here, it's as simple as this, and this is something you can do at home. You just take your lead arm hand, put it on top of the grip, set up here like you're gonna hit a shot, and then make sure when you're coming through here that you're feeling that trail arm getting underneath the lead arm. And when you start to do that, it's gonna heat, help keep the shoulders closed I'm going to get that feeling that the body is rotating and staying back. My shoulder line is working completely differently. And you can see not only is it closed, but it's also angled upward. That's going to give me the shot up into the air. So what I want to do here is just show you one more time and show you this is not magic. This is simple and something that you can do and even out on the golf course. So when you have that nervous shot, you're afraid of getting that divot all over your pants. Well, now you have a drill to help you out. You just get that, that uh, lead hand sitting on top of the grip, rehearse that a couple of different times, then make a little bit of a practice swing. I'm gonna hit this one. This one's gonna go far. Ball, go far. And you can see that one there. Again, that launched out two and a half, 2.9 degrees to the right. It went 200 yards. And Greg, will you show me that one again just because this is fun to look at. That one got to 101 foot apex. Look at that. That looks like a, that looks like a really nice draw, like a, like a Rory McIlroy draw. So here's what I'm telling you. Do a little work, do this drill, understand what's causing the over the top, and when you are able to solve that, you'll be able to fix that problem and hit that key shot when you need it, standing on 18 with a chance to shoot your lower score and to beat your older brother. Well, it's a simple game. A little bit of drill, a little, little fun, a little bit of money going into your pocket. That's proven it, presented by Titleist. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.